first and foremost, it's really, really funny. Um, I feel like the jokes are really witty and it's really great, but more than that, I appreciate, especially in like the times that our world is in right now, it's really progressive and it really like honors people of different um, gender and different like sexual orientation and race um, really, really beautifully. And I think it just tells those stories in a really uh, progressive and beautiful way. One of the things I love about the show is that it's got one of the best cold opens of any comedy show that I've ever seen. Every time the show starts, I know that the first minute and a half, however long it's going to be, is going to be hilarious. And so by the time the credits start rolling, I'm already laughing and I know already, already know that I'm going to enjoy the episode. I think the writing staff on the show is probably some of the one of the best writing uh, one of the best writing teams in comedy right now especially given how big of an audience it has at this point when the show was canceled we were so so sad because it's honestly one of our favorite shows and we heard it was being picked back up I was so excited we told all of our friends because we have a whole group of friends that really watch it uh, we're actually having a trivia night at a friend's brewery this upcoming week to celebrate it coming back out sure uh, my name is the one and only John Ham first name J O N last name H A M <laughs> For real. So if you know anybody else named John Hamm and you want to get him in touch with me, cool, cool. Um, well, what I love about Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it's hard to pin one thing down. The first thing would probably be the cast. Um, I follow a lot of them on Instagram, so I get to really le learn about their lives. Um, so you just get to really feel their personalities come out in their characters, which I love. I love that it feels yeah. more genuine that way. And there's so much diversity and representation, which I think is crucial. Um, I think it really represents the times right now, and I think it'll just hold up forever. I, I plan to show my kids this show someday, and their kids, and their kids, so. <laughs> oh, absolutely. As soon as I heard it was canceled, and I went on whatever social media I could, and I was hashtagging, you know, save Brooklyn Nine-Nine, because, it, again, it, it's... I, I tell people it's my religion, which I know is a weird thing, <laughs> but it really, I mean, I love quoting it, and it's just such a fantastic show that it couldn't, it couldn't go away. It still has so much story to tell, so I, I, if I could contribute a little bit to saving it, I, I wanted to do that, so. Yeah, so well, NBC is a great network, of course. I love Parks and Rec, The Good Place. I mean, you can't go wrong with TV shows on NBC, 30 Rock. So, of course, if you feel it's right that Brooklyn Nine-Nine is part of that family, so. <laughs> Right here. Right here. All right, how many hats do we have? All four? All right, the last four get hats. All right, everybody put these hats on.